test. Hi, my name's Nathan Chan. I'm going to give you a little overview of my life. Let us begin when I was a little baby. <laughs> my mom and dad put on these laser disc recordings of Seiji Ozawa on this big screen TV we had at home. On the screen, Seiji Ozawa was conducting various orchestra pieces in front of a large audience, and he looked so into the music. He was sweaty, and he just looked like a god to me. So, I wanted to copy him so bad that I would go over to the sink, splatter my head with water, and then go back next to the TV, stand up on a chair, and join in the fight to greatness. One of the coolest things I was able to do was be a part of this show on HBO called The Music in Me. I think a good cellist has to feel the music and feel like the true meaning. My voice sounds a little different because uh, something called puberty happened. Oh, this one, something's happening. I was asked to make an audition tape through my teacher and out of 500 students, I was able to participate in the show and it, it really gave me this new self-awareness. It, it re-emphasized the importance of cello to me. When you're a child and you, you play, the, play a musical instrument, you're kind of um, almost blindfolded with this kind of veil of, of childhood. It's just a, a kind of veil that accompanies you as a child. But, you know, as you mature and you, you grow from a child to a teenager and then to an adult, there's a really new sense of recognition and appreciation and I'm really happy at where I am right now in my life. Now, whoa, what was that? Oh my God, welcome to Electric Cello World. You know, it's a lot of fun to be able to go back and forth between the classical instrument and then the kind of rock side. But, you know, the classical side is the one where I'm mostly at, so don't, don't, don't freak out, okay? Okay.